I just have a cloud because I'm in the immediate. This is one new thing, number four, and I am standing outside of the Branch Museum, which you can see is this ginormous house. Um, the only thing basically I know about it is that it definitely did used to be a house, and now it is a museum of architecture and design, which you can just see from the flag. But we're gonna go inside and then see what there is actually inside of this museum because I've kind of known it was here, but never been inside, so. So, I learned a few things. One, this is definitely a house, but it wasn't all about the house. Um, it was, it's just an actual museum. So the information about the house is part of it, but then inside the whole museum is a feature on a local architect who basically constructed every large scale building. Not every, that's probably overstated, but a lot of the big buildings in Richmond that we would recognize, like Albert Hill Middle School. He did a ton of work around schools. He did the Richmond Mosque, which is now Altria Theater, um, and a whole bunch of other buildings that you would recognize. And then he did a lot of universities. He did James Madison, he did stuff at William and Mary, um, and then he lived here in Richmond. His house was on Grove Avenue, and he was just a really uh, famous, I guess, architecture. One of the things I thought was really cool was a lot of his designs were to, uh, I guess, equalize between like men and women and then between like whites and blacks so when he would design something for like white schools at the time he would also try to make sure he did the same thing for black schools so that it was even um and one of the main things he did with schools was like open air windows because people were getting tuberculosis um and they said that one of the reasons that went down here was because of what he designed so i really know nothing about architecture but it was really cool to read about him as a richmond architect and all of the things he's built in richmond and then of course in this house, which was the Branch family's winter home, which is amazing because they have other homes in New York and Italy, and then this was designed after a manor in where? somewhere in England. I don't know. It's in the building. Um, but yeah, this was a really cool one new thing. There will probably be more museum one new things because there are a lot in Richmond that I just have not been to yet. So it's a great way to spend an hour. Fade to black. <laughs>